The whole image that the king built comprised of gold. The head of the image that Nebuchadnezzar had seen in his dream was also of gold. This image, now this is the description, it stood about 99 feet high and 9 feet wide. This is the height of a 10 story building and the width of a 9 feet by 12 feet room. Can you imagine? 12 story building. Somewhere up there. This man took almost the whole of the gold reserve and started making up this image. We are told this image was huge. One scholar by the name Herodotus described a statue of Bel. There was a statue of Bel from the word Belshazzar. You remember when I told you about Bel being the god of Babylon? Bel, the protector of Babylon, Maduk. Belshazzar, from the word Belshazzar, Bel, it is a god. We are told that the statue of Bel, it was made of 800 ta talents, which is equivalent to 22 tons of gold. But Nebuchadnezzar's image would have even been much heavier and more costly. 22 tons. I have had news in Kenya and other parts of the world where people are caught with some pieces of gold. And when you hear the amount, you say, wow. You mean this thing is this much value? It is very valuable. A small piece of gold goes for millions and millions of shillings. This is 22 tons. How much was spent in erecting this particular image? I want you to hold it there. Friends, the king used gold. But the book of Haggai chapter 2 verse 8, it reads thus, The silver is mine and the gold is mine, declares the Lord of hosts. Why do you think we, we are bringing Haggai in this story? Here in the book of Haggai, the Lord did not send anyone to announce it. He did not just say it and neither did he make a request. He declared it by himself. Gold, all gold is mine, all silver is. Now let's go back to 22 tons of gold. Nebuchadnezzar took 22 tons of gold to erect an image. And you know what was the purpose of the image? The purpose of the image was for people to bow down. To worship, oh my dear brothers and sisters, stewardship of material. Our material should be used in worshiping the Lord and not erecting images so that we may bow down to the images. The Lord says, all gold and silver is mine. Bring it into the storehouse so that it may be used in helping the people. But here, Nebuchadnezzar is taking all 22 tons to erect. It is the Lord who spoke by himself. My dear brothers and sisters, I want you to follow me carefully and notice also that it was not any Lord who declared it, but it was the Lord of what? The Bible says in Agai, the Lord of hosts. So the Lord was very careful to, dip, to make sure people do not, during the Old Testament, any, any person of high rank was called a lord. Even today, if you go to our court, you will hear people saying, yes, my lord. The word lord in the Hebrew world, it was used to anyone who is of importance in the society. Maybe a leader, maybe a king, maybe a judge, and something like that. Or maybe the chief of army. They were called lord. So the lord wanted to make sure there is no confusion about this gold. It is the lord. It is all mine. The lord of hosts. Meaning the one who created the heaven and earth and everything that is in it. That includes you and me. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, I do trust for sure that this is, a, this is strong enough to assist a believer to realize how the lord protected gold and silver for himself. 